News coming in at this point from Rajasthan. The BJP has announced its second list for Rajasthan. 83 members in this list. The BJP accommodates uh, most former members as well. Vasundha Raji will be fighting this election. Vasundha's uh, supporters uh, have been accommodated in uh, Jalawa as well. Uh, former Mewa Royal, new entrant to party, uh, uh, also gets a ticket from Anath Dwara, is what we're learning, and is likely to take on uh, CP Joshi. Uh, no MPs in the new list. Uh, uh, now, of course, the question stands, uh, who's going to be fighting Gehlot? In uh, Sardarpura, a uh, candidate has not been declared yet. Uh, Narpat Singh uh, Rajbi has been adjusted in Chitorgarh in the list, is what we're learning. This is the latest that is coming in. Uh, uh, big news uh, coming in that... Uh, uh, that Vasundha Raja is going to be uh, fighting the election as well. I have uh, my colleague uh, Harsha joining us with more details on this. Uh, before uh, we go to uh, Harsha, let me take you through the latest details that are coming in at this point, that the BJP has released its second list for Rajasthan. 83 candidates have been announced in this particular list. Right, we're also learning that uh, the Congress list has also been announced for Rajasthan at this point. Uh, these, of course, uh, the latest details, both BJP and Congress have announced their uh, lists for Rajasthan. Uh, BJP, of course, has 83 candidates in its list and Congress also has now come out with its list of uh, leaders in Rajasthan. I have my colleague Harsha with more details on this. Uh, uh, Gehlot, of course, going to contest from uh, Sadarpura is what the Congress says. Uh, Harsha, take us to now the two lists that have come out, the BJP and the Congress. Uh, Congress, of course, has uh, told us already where Gehlot is going to be fighting from. Vasundha Raji is a big question when it comes to BJP. Take us to what we know. So, uh, let me give you now an overview of both the parties. Okay, so we have about 83 uh, members who have been announced uh, from the BJP and 33 uh, that we have been announced from the Congress. Now, let me tell you what the BJP lo list looks like. The BJP list has Vasundhra Raje fighting this election. Very, very important lead point of the story. Vasundhra Raje will fight the MLA election from Jhalra Patan. Earlier, there was talk that perhaps she would uh, make her son Dushyan Singh fight from there. But obviously, Vasundhra Raje um, is going to fight from there. And not only is she going to fight, but all her people, all the people who won uh, in that area and who are there uh, from that area, all those people who come under Jhalawar have been given tickets. They've been repeated. So that's the big thing from the BJP list. What is the second big thing from the BJP list? Narpat Singh Rajvi, who had opposed a son-in-law of Bhairo Singh Shekhawat, who is going to be actually commemorating 100 years of Bhairo Singh Ji on the 23rd of October, who had opposed, um, uh, you know, Diya Kumari getting the ticket from Vidyadhar Nagar. He's been accommodated in Chittorgarh. And, uh, you know, the other person who was fighting from Chittorgarh, uh, he has been moved to Nimbahera. So, uh, uh, he's also close to uh, Vasundhra Raje Kriplani. He was also the former <coughs> UDH minister. Uh, so, he's been accommodated. So, by and large, everybody has been accommodated in the BJP list. <coughs> I beg your pardon. In fact, the big uh, MPs have not been, uh, you know, uh, put down in this uh, list as, we, as was expected. Though, interestingly, the BJP has not declared its candidate for Sardar Pura. Now, that's Ashok Gehlot's seat. So, who will mm. fight Ashok Gehlot? That's still a bit of a question. Uh, now, if we just look at the Congress list, the Congress list is pretty simple and self-explanatory. They had apparently looked at 100 plus names, but they've only announced 33. So, obviously, there's some problems uh, with those names. Apparently, um, you know, even the uh, CM was... Um, uh, you know, keen that some of his people like uh, Shanti Dhariwal, etc., uh, get a place, but uh, Shanti Dhariwal's name has been kept uh, pending. So, by and large, the Congress list is quite a simple list. Um, Tonk is where Sachin Pilot is going to be fighting from. Then, uh, there is um, uh, Ashok Gehloth is from Sardarpura, Shipi Joshi is from Nadwara, and CP Joshi will be taking on um, the new entrant in the BJP, the Vishwendra Singh Mewar Royal. So, former Mewar Royal will be taking on CP Joshi. Uh, also, um, in, the, in the Congress list, um, there's Preeti Gajendra Singh Shekhawat. She's fighting from Vallabh Nagar. Uh, she'd won the by-election last time around. So, she's going to be fighting from Vallabh Nagar. That's also close to Chittor, South Rajasthan. So, 33, 
33 names in the Congress list. I will not say very big major surprises. Let me just hmm. look at it carefully. Uh, most of them are repeats actually. Bhavar Singh Bhatia, Krishna Punia, Rita Chaudhary, Gawan Singh Dotasra, Archana Sharma gets Malviya Nagar. That's interesting because uh, Rajiv Aroda was also pitching for that. But actually, uh, most of these people are repeats uh, in this uh, in the Congress list. And in the BJP list also, you can clearly see the sense of trying to accommodate and keep factions happy. They haven't announced MPs. That's very, very important. Mm -hmm. So far, they haven't announced MPs. In fact, it doesn't look like Arjun Ram Meghwal is going to be fighting this election because they've declared East and West uh, Bikaner. I actually haven't had time to even go <laughs> through the list minutely. But yeah, broadly, this is what um, is there uh, in both the lists. Absolutely, Harsha. And in terms of your analysis, uh, when it comes to Gehlot, you know, he was playing up the fact that Basunja <coughs> Raje supporters are not happy uh, with the way BJP has treated Raje and that sort of thing. But do you think now her supporters could be then subdued in terms of, uh, you know, giving her, uh, help, making her fight from uh, uh, this in this particular election? You know, I think what the uh, BJP did very, very intelligently and very quickly was that they realized that this was the sentiment on the ground. Mm. And so they uh, held back with their second list. Uh, Mr. J.P. Nadda himself came dashing into uh, Rajasthan. He went to Ajmer, he went to Kota, he went to uh, Udaipur. You know, he got a sense of what people are doing. Arun Singh was there first thing in the morning to meet Narpat Singh Rajvi. They realized that, you know, you can't play with the sentiments of the people on the ground. Uh, you can't ride roughshod over everybody and whether you like it or not, the point is Vasudra Raji is a popular leader. Right. She's acceptable all across uh, communities and you have to keep those sentiments in mind. So I think they've learned from the first list. This list is a list of accommodation. This list is a list where a lot of people loyal to Vasudra are getting their tickets. So for example, Kalicharan Saraf gets his ticket. I mean, it was not really uh, given that he would probably win, uh, get it in Valve Nagar, but he's got that ticket. Uh, look at Jhalawar. All her, all the uh, king's horses and all the king's men, or should I say, all the queen's men, have got the ticket. Uh, you know that might be more appro appropriate mm. to say that. But yeah, definitely a list of accommodation.